Dennis Restore Sensei here. PFTs on the NBRC exam. There's seven to 12 questions on that exam about PFTs. What are we gonna do about that? Let me show you a cool trick. Okay, on the NBRC exam, when you go take your test, they're gonna escort you to a computer, but they will have already given you a scratch piece of paper and a pencil. The cool thing is they'll tell you where the computer is, they'll tell you where the bathroom is, and then they're gonna leave. And now it's you, a pencil, and a scratch piece of paper, and your test hasn't started yet. So what you can do is you can sit down, there's time enough to cram everything on that scratch piece of paper that you just crammed outside, including the PFT chart. So let's take a look at how to use that. Okay, so this is my scratch piece of paper, and when the NBRC gives it to you, they're definitely going to make you put your name. Remember, you're going to have to turn this paper back in. It's going to become part of your NBRC file. And then what I do for PFTs is I draw the PFT chart. First, I start drawing the basic ones, the ERV and the title volume, the ERV and the RV. You're definitely going to want to memorize this chart. And then I label the different kinds of volumes, the IC and the FRC and the VC and, of course, the TLC. And the good part about this is that when I have this and I draw this even before the test begins, when I come to a PFT question where they want to know, say, like the IC, but they give me a value over here and give me a value over here and a value over here, I can look at this diagram and I can basically visualize what to add what to get to the thing that they want me to get to, whatever that is. And then this is in pencil, so I can also erase all of this or erase the values so that if I have another question, I can use it again and again. And that's it. With a piece of paper and a pencil, you can conquer the PFT questions on the NBRC exam.